Hi, I'm David Tracy with Jalopnik. I'm here with Dave Harriton from AEV. Uh, we're standing in front of the Chevrolet Colorado ZR2 Bison, uh, and we're going to look at what makes it different uh, than the regular ZR2. When they came to me with this vehicle, it was kind of like, if you're going to take the ZR2 and you were going to drive it to South America, what would you do before you left? And uh, that steel front bumpers, a winch, uh, different flares, the rear bumper, full skid plating. That's what I would have done to the ZR2 to travel you know, on a long distance trip, different countries. And so that starts with the steel bumper. Um, we also packaged the fog light. The original ZR2 has no fog light. So while we gave up a little bit of approach angle, we got the winch mount and the fog lights, which is good for the long distance trips. So the flares, not only do they give you more coverage, but really as an aesthetic with the black wheel, it changes the silhouette. Mm -hmm. The ZR2 has kind of a pencil thin flare. Um, we wanted something that looked, gave you a, a bigger look and made the tire look bigger overall. It also ties into the bumper and the way the whole thing kind of packaged in the behind. Um, we were really concerned about mud pack, snow pack. The only carryover piece is this plastic step pad. And a lot of the reason was because of license plate lighting requirements, the trailer tow requirements. Um, the trailer hitch is stock ZR2. But then we went and replaced this with a heavy duty uh, three millimeter thick steel stamping. Um, we designed that so that if you were to tag it with a trailer hitch, this is gonna last. Um, we put these knockouts in so you can put a like a three inch form factor LED light in on, the, on this bumper. Exposed toe points, so fully rated toe points, easy to get to, same in the front. And then we did some full corner protection. And you can see the guys are using it today. Typically a ZR2 has a step bumper, which is really convenient if you're, you know, for stepping in and out, but it also gets crushed really easy off-road. So uh, these things are fully functional. They tie back into the frame, protect this part of the bed, and tie it into the whole bumper. So the ZR2 does have an aluminum front skid um, for the suspension, but we changed it to the boron steel because it actually slides better on rocks, and we continued that protection all the way back. These things are pretty amazing because of the yield strength of the material. This is a this is a boron steel. It's press hardened, meaning when it gets stamped, it goes in red hot, mm -hmm. and then it's quenched on the die. So it's a hardened steel. It's almost perfect for skid plates. So it'll protect everything on the diesel. It protects the oil filter. Uh, I'm sorry, the fuel filters, and the ABS module. It protects the skid or the fuel tank from getting cut on any rocks. So this um, so this here um, this is the transfer case skid plate. Yep. Uh, also protects like the filter and the ABS module, like you said. This fuel tank one, this is a thinner gauge skid plate, is that right? Yeah, this is a thinner gauge because primarily the, the frame rail is protecting the fuel tank. Um, so we went a little lighter on this, but what it's designed to do, the, the plastic can crush and it will come back. Um, so this fuel tank skid is designed also, it'll, it'll dent in, but it'll pop right back out. What it's really for is uh, making sure the fuel tank doesn't get cut by a rock. Um, or damage the fuel pump. So it is reinforced in the back for the fuel pump itself. You'll see there's a differential slider that's actually designed to slide on the rocks and you'll see it took some pretty major hits today. Um, it's designed to protect the front U-joint on the um, pinion and it's also designed to keep the stamp differential cover from peeling off from rocks and it's just basically designed to keep the progress moving. So this is a great example You'll see the scratches on the skid, but yet there's really no, there's no denting. Um, so it'll scratch the paint off a bit, but it just slides. It doesn't gouge like aluminum. Um, it's just, it's almost the perfect material for a skid plate. Nice and thin and nice and light, but will take a serious beating. So the Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison. It's a ZR2 with a bit more protection. And if you want to take a big pickup truck on any sort of rock crawling, that's what you're gonna need.